Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91. And for those of you who don't know, yesterday there was an Xbox podcast. I was watching Player Essence's live stream. I should have a link to that in the description below. And on the podcast, to be honest, not much information that, at least based on what I was listening to, not much of it did stuff that really interested me. Not that it was bad stuff, but it didn't really interest me that much, except for one big thing that Phil Spencer announced. And he did make it official that yes, some Xbox exclusives are going to become multi-platform. Now, he said specifically four games. Four games, and he said a couple of those games, I'm not going to, I'm just going to paraphrase based on what I heard, because it seems like they're going to be more of like the community games. He said something along the lines of that they'd, they had already basically run their course on Xbox and PC. So those couple of games he's talked about sounded like Sea of Thieves. And then I remember in the chat, a number of people said Grounded. While I was watching the live stream, a number of people also said Grounded. I forgot about Grounded, so maybe it's Grounded too. Who knows? It could be another game. I don't, I'm not sure which one that would be, but it could be. And then the other two games he said were just going to be like smaller games. You know, some people say Hi-Fi Rush and stuff like that. But in any case, this is something because it does reveal that Xbox is trying to put some of its exclusives on multi-platforms. Now, let's be honest, guys. People talking about like, is Xbox going fully multi-platform and stuff like that? I don't know. But the thing is that this isn't the first time. Sony actually put MLB The Show not only on Xbox, but on Xbox Game Pass. And that was, I believe, a former PlayStation or Sony at least exclusive. So, I mean, yes, putting four games, a little bit more. But still, I think this does definitely does not show that Xbox is just going fully multi-plat. But perhaps this is a strategy that we'll implore in the future. Because I gotta, be, I gotta, I gotta be honest. With Sea of Thieves. This may cause me to get back into the game. Like if my cousin or brother-in-law or friends, whatever, who have other consoles actually download Sea of Thieves for the first time, it may cause me to actually get back into the game. I, I, I played Sea of Thieves and I haven't played in a while, but if people who have never played it because they didn't have an Xbox want to play it who I may want to play with, then it may cause me to even, an Xbox owner, to get back into it. So... This strategy may be something to think about because imagine like if you have a MMO or something that has really run its course. It's like been eight, ten years and you're like, listen, we're not going to get a bunch of more DLC or stuff like that. All right. And imagine if then like um, Sony or Microsoft is like, let's just play on another platform, see how it goes. I do believe in certain circumstances that may not only get people from the other platform to play it, but it may get... People who think kind of like me, like, oh, if my friends are playing that, I may get back in on it. Because fr friends who I couldn't play with before because they they have other consoles that didn't have the game, I may get back in on it. So, who knows? But in any case, whether or not this shows that Xbox is going fully multiplayer, I don't think, I think it's way too early to tell. What games do you think are the four games? Like, what are the couple of games that are more like community driven games and then the couple of games that are smaller games what do you guys think those games are let me know in the comments below thanks for watching my like share and subscribe and may god bless you all